Hey guys, it's Kiko Romero, otherwise known as Kaz Isezo. And I'm just here with a small update slash uh, critique of this new feature that I've just discovered on Windows 10. I apologize in advance for the quality of this recording. This is not something I would normally do. But I just sort of had these thoughts and I wanted to get them out there before um, I lose it. What you're seeing right now is a recording from this new software feature on Windows 10. It allows me to record directly from whatever game I'm playing. I haven't actually tried it yet with Steam, but I'm presuming that if it works with ESO, which sort of has this third-party client thing going through Steam, then I assume that it'll work just as well. You may notice that there's some weird, like, uh, buffering issues or, like, digital, like, artifacting going on on the video. That's not due to Premiere, like, buffering it weirdly and then just sort of, like, processing it out when at the time of this recording. I'm watching it right now, and I, and I know that you're seeing the same big, huge, blocky uh, pixels, like, just eating up the screen as, it's, as I'm going through this playthrough. What's interesting to me is that Windows 10 actually has this as a feature. For people who are into gaming to allow them to record their, uh, their, ga their gameplay sessions and then upload them should they desire. Now... Jokingly, there's been a lot of MLG Pro videos out there, like, sort of poking fun at the whole thing. However, um, people who actually have skill with video games might actually be able to upload their uh, prowess now because of this video, uh, be because of this feature. On the other end of this is the possibility that people who, like, have very, you know, small YouTube channels or non-existent YouTube channels, much like this one. Thank you to all my 30 subscribers, by the way, or 28. We're nearing 30. I'm going to put out a special video when we hit 30. What, I, what I'm trying to get at is that people who have, like, very small YouTube channels or, like, don't regularly make contact but who play a lot of video games might decide to try and take up uh, this whole YouTube gaming trend that's going on right now and make try to make a profit out of it. That in of itself isn't exactly a problem. Well, actually, it, it depends on how you look at it. It's a problem for YouTube, because then they're going to have to figure out a new algorithm or a new method of dealing with this influx of Let's Players that's going to probably be appearing on, um, on their domain. You may or may not know, but YouTube is trying this new thing where they just have this completely separate channel, or like, I guess, branch of YouTube dedicated solely to gaming videos and all that. I think YouTube's setting up this domain because one, they're probably realizing that, oh shit, all these Let's Players are gonna start hitting up our domain now and we're gonna just, instead of actual content, we're gonna see nothing but Let's Plays. Which, like I said, it's, depends on how you view it. Some people have a knack for making the most out of a YouTube Let's Play. People like Markiplier, uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken, Tobuscus, PewDiePie, but other people prob don't exactly possess that. I mean, you'll probably find people out there who just sort of awkwardly play the, the game and then don't provide much commentary and then just sort of like, Hey, okay, so we're going through this dungeon here and uh, hey, there's this guy trapped in the wall and I'm, uh, I'm gonna go free him, yeah. Hey, there, yeah, there you go, buddy. Hey, yeah. If you're ready for that kind of awkward game commentary, you might see that happening a lot more, thanks to this new feature. Granted, I mean, this probably... Windows 10 adding this feature to their software does not mean... Or it's not a direct correlation that gaming channels are going to be on the rise and Let's Players are going to be coming in in droves. No, that's sort of a trend that's been happening for a while now, and it's becoming sort of this new generation. So they're marketing this and they're acknowledging the fact that there are more Let's Players than... I mean, there's a significant number of people in the community, in the YouTube community, making Let's Play channels. So YouTube's response to this is by making their new um, gaming domain, where people just can strictly upload their content for video games and all, their, and all other sorts of gaming-related um, trivia up to that channel. Video games are going to become more prevalent in terms of internet culture and internet um, entertainment. 
that's something that's kind of, the ball has been rolling on that for a while and it's not going to stop anytime soon. You may notice that this channel's sort of been lacking in content, but in the content that it does have though, it's mostly just original content or at least content that I was inspired by and thus made videos either homaging that or like parodying it or, well, basically it's performance art. That's what you, you'll see in this channel. Performance art and documentary, as well as animation. All this being said though, I am interested to see how the community is going to respond to this. Whether we're going to see an influx of gaming channels because of like software meeting the demands of the, uh, the customer, or, you know, a restriction on YouTube's new like monetary policy. The way I see it, YouTube's gonna be faced with two choices. One, completely change their algorithm for how YouTube um, like monetary content works for users and um, content creators. Or uh, just embrace it and weather it down and then maybe just redirect all the, that content to the, net, to the new domain that they're planning to upload. Because as the Gang Grumps once said, it is relatively easy to just shovel out um, a let's play and just add some funny commentary to it and thus adding to your revenue stream. And that's not a criticism, it's just sort of a fact. That's how the algorithm goes. YouTube pays by how long you can keep a person on your channel. Which is actually why I've never decided to make a career out of being on YouTube. It's just sort of a place where I want to upload my content, be it original or just in parody or in joking, and entertain, entertain people. That's all I wanted to do ever since I started, like four years ago. Which, sadly to say, has not always been optimal for me to create content with people. I've just sort of been this one guy with a camera. Which brings me to the second point of this update. And that is, why has there been such a lack of content? If I'm so dedicated to filmmaking and making content as a whole, why has there been so few videos? Why have I not uploaded more? Well, there's no good excuse for it. And I hold myself accountable for that fact. I've been doing things in real life that I would have attributed to me not being able to produce content, but that's just one part, one excuse of, of, of many that make up a whole. There is no good reason for why I haven't been more attentive to YouTube. Well, I mean, if there is, you're probably watching it right now. I'm making this video as a promise to you that I will be uploading more content. You're free to watch it. I've never held anyone accountable to hold, to stick to my channel if they didn't want to. I've gained subscribers and I've lost subscribers. I am at this t point in time at around 30. In terms of regular content, I have been mulling it over and I think that I'm going to be doing much more animations, uh, many more like audio work. Right now I've actually been doing side projects and most of which have been like really time consuming. One of the projects I've been working on has been this rotoscoping project that's been taking oh, like a year now. Jesus Christ. I, there's no good excuse why that thing isn't done yet. Other than my lack of time commitment to it. I mean, I'm, with, without getting into too much detail, things have happened in my life that have sort of driven me away from paying attention to my passion, to my career. But those things have been sm small and minor and they should no longer be justifiable as reasons why I can't continue to make more content. From this point on, I will be endeavoring, regardless of my lack of equipment or my set, I should say, uh, to make more videos. In terms of live action content, what you're gonna be probably seeing more on this channel is something in the shape or scope of a review. There will also, of course, be regular skits that happen whenever they can happen. There's no promise or date to when they'll happen, but they will happen. Web comics. I will be doing small fan recordings of various web comics that I've been reading over the past few months. It may not be as regular as I would hope. Like I said, I still have things in my current life that I'm trying to sort out but there's no longer any excuse for why I won't be making any videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
I hope to have you in the future and look out for more content. Peace.